Welcome to another video in the series about Access 2019 in Office 365. Um, the last video uh, I made was about adding password protection to um, your database. What we're going to be looking at today is splitting the database into two parts. One part being the data um, in the back end, so that would be just the tables. And then the other part being the front end would be the user interface, the forms, the reports and the queries. The benefit of this is that you can create multiple versions of the front end and each one can be put in a different place and then linked to the data in the back end. This allows multiple users to use your data um, from different places. We're also going to look at how to add security to that back end because it's pretty pointless having your, your front end um, password protected when your data in the back end doesn't have password protection. So once we've split the database, we'll have a look at how to add security to the back end and then relink that back end to the front end, the user interface, um, so they talk to each other. Okay, firstly, um, I'm going to open up the database that we're working on last time that we added the password security to. As you see, it's prompted me for my password. And there we go, password in and we're straight into the database. Access has um, database tools up here and very sort of strangely named button um, up here it says Access Database but obviously we're in an Access Database so I don't know why they've Microsoft's worded it like that but when you click on it you'll see it's all of the dialogue is about splitting the database into the two parts. Um, by clicking split database, it then gives you a sort of prompt where uh, you want the back end to be saved. If you look down at the name of the, the database file, which I close cars before split, copy, it's actually appended the underscore BE onto this file name, indicating that this is saving the back end of the database, as it says up here, create back end database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename that because we don't want copy, we don't want before split. But I'm just going to call that backend. There we go. And I'm going to save that in a different folder called after split. So here we are. So we're saving the backend part of the database and that's going to have just the four tables that we have up here in the tables tab in the objects box so clicking split and it says oh that can't be done because my client table is being used so what I'll do is I'll cancel that close down my navigation and then in fact if I actually go into that folder we will see that it's actually already split the back end anyway um, I'm going to open it up and probably see that it's only got, oh, it does have all the tables in. That's good. So it has actually happened. I've got all my client data, sales data, and so on. So it's got all of my data in that back end file. Okay, so what I'm going to do is. As, as this split has happened fine, it's just going to see, just make sure I do have the front end. Go file and open. And that was before split copy. So let me in. So that process actually did fail. What I'm expecting to see here are arrows next to these tables so it'd be a big big blue arrow saying that these are now um, linked tables rather than um, local tables as they are here so what I'm going to do is go to close this form I'm going to go back into that folder and delete that back end file and I'm going to do the process again okay, right so this time I'm going to split the database with nothing open. My navigation form is closed. So go to database tools, access database and split the database. Again, I'm going to show it where it 
needs to be saved, which is after split. And then I'm going to, as I did before, rename it to Mac end. And then split. This time it should split successfully. So we'll know that it splits, it says split successfully because now we can see we've got the big thick blue arrows next to the tables saying that these are um, remote. So they're, they're actually um, linked tables. They're actually not part of this database file that we're looking at. Um, I can open up my navigation form and I can, let's look at some historic data. There we go, and we can see the data is Super fine inside my client's form there. There we go. So the database is split. Let's just have a quick look in the folders and just make sure that after split, it has the back end file. And here's the, the data lock file that goes along with it. So that's fine, that's been done. Now, I'm gonna close that down. I'm gonna close our database again. Because when we open up, um, there we go before split copy. Obviously, our front end is going to prompt us for the password, and great, lets me in. But if I was to look at my data file, so if I go file and open, and actually have a look at that back end file here, so it's Clive Scar's back end, and I open it. Here's my data in my tables, and it didn't prompt me for a password at all. So this is extremely insecure. Um, where this should be the most secure part of the database. It's the bit that um, has client details in it, so it all needs to comply with Data Protection Act across the world. So this part of the database also needs to be password protected. So again, I'm gonna close it down, and just like we did um, last time, we're gonna open this file, this just this backend file, um, in exclusive mode. And if you've looked at the last video, the way we do this is we click the open tab and then we go to browse. We don't get tempted to open any of the files here um, in your, your, your pinned files, but we're gonna go to browse and that's gonna open up this box, which we're now going to navigate towards where that backend file has been saved. It's after split. So again, we're gonna single click just to select the back end file. And rather than click open, we're gonna click the arrow next to open and open exclusive and enable content. So what we have here now is exclusive rights. Nobody else can access this data because in the file and info tab, again, we're gonna encrypt with password. This time I'm going to give it a slightly different password and see how that is dealt with. Go for the same. And yep, again, block cipher. And there we go. So now that back end is password encrypted and we can prove that by trying to open the back end and there it goes it prompts me for my password and type the password in there's our data so that's now secure the problem we have currently is that I've used two different passwords so I've used the password for the front end and a different password for the back end um, now the problem we have is our front end, which I'll just go and open up. Go close cars before split. It's going to ask me for my front end password, and then it's going to say password. So it's not a valid password, although it's actually opened the database because I've got all of my navigation forms here. You can see that. Every time I actually try and draw on the data from the tables, it tells me that it's an invalid password. That's because this front end doesn't have access to the back end. Because they've got two different passwords, and even if they had the same password, it will still deny access to that back end. What we need to do is 
actually delete our links to the tables. So I'm going to click on each of the tables and press delete. And say yes to delete those tables. So now currently our database has no, ta no data. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to external data and new data source and then from database and we're going to select from access there we go okay so now we're, what we're going to do is go and find the back end file which is, should be here and we're going to open that okay so we've got here now the path to the back end file and rather than import the tables as we would um, normally um, we actually want these to be linked tables so link to the data source by creating linked tables and we're going to select that radio button down the bottom there so if the source database requires a password the unencrypted password will be stored with the linked table so what that means is that as I click OK it's going to prompt me for my back-end database password so let me in B E. So this is the back end password, not the front end. So when I click OK, it's then going to show me the tables that are in that file, and I'm going to select them all and select OK. There we go. Now we can see we've got our linked tables back, all four of them. But if we actually now go to one of our forms, it's actually giving us our forms now, and we can see looking clients look at our historic data we can see that all of the data is now visible from the tables and we can open the tables up and look at all the data that have been stored in there and we can close them down again what I'm going to do is going to show you that when we actually close our front end again and reopen it which was clients card before split copy um, it's going to prompt for my front end password and it's not going to prompt me for the back end password and it's going to still have access to the table so the back end database password has been stored in the front end so we've got access to all of our data so there we go what we can now do is Go and make, um, I should close you down. We can make multiple copies of our front end, so which is actually, I've got another database open as well. Let's close you. There we go. We can make multiple copies of our front end and we can name them differently. On here, I'm going to call that um, builds copy, and then we can have a another copy. Julie, Julie's copy, and we can just make multiple copies of the database front end and. Each of them will have individual access to the data. And we can open up multiple copies of the database. So we can have multiple people actually working on the database at once. So we've got clients' cars, and we've got one copy here working nicely and we've got another copy in the front so these can be on different parts of the network can be different locations with different people actually um, adding data to the database or or getting information from the database um, across as, across a business so hopefully um, you found that helpful and uh, you're able to split and password protect your back end of your database um, so it's all nice and secure. Okay, I'll catch you again next time there's a video. Bye-bye.